Nicole Scott here with Mobile Geeks and I have my Acer W510 tablet here and if you are new to Windows 8 and you do need a little bit of help getting around at the beginning I'm going to show you a couple of tips that have really helped me kind of just engage the interface and make things a little bit smoother getting around. So if you're looking to create a more organized kind of start screen, so let's see we have some of these other apps over here because I just installed Photoshop. If I pull that down, you kind of get all of these options. You can pin it to the taskbar, uninstall it, open a new window. Let's just unpin it from the start bar because I don't really know what that does. That's just a program that goes along with Photoshop, so I'm going to unpin that. There we go. But now I want to move this around so you kind of, you just kind of keep on dragging it and then eventually it'll kind of move around. So you see there I've kind of put my Photoshop. Let's see, I want to move this there. Let's get that out of the way. I want these two side by side. There we go. So then I kind of have those two together. And you can kind of do that with, with all of your applications. Now, what if we say, open up CyberLink PowerDirector 11. And let's go back over here and let's open up Internet Explorer. And let's go back. Let's also open Skype. Now, <coughs> Windows 8 is meant to work so that all the background applications uh, don't actually drain your CPU. Now, from my experience using this computer, if I have too many apps open, because you can just swipe from the left to look at all your, your previous applications that you opened. So there's CyberLink Power Director, there's Skype, there's Internet Explorer. Let's go back over here, let's open a couple more. Now, without a keyboard dock, there's no obvious way to close any of these games because, you know, in Windows, I'm used to that X in the circle and that's not, no longer there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how you close apps. So you drag from the top, you see how it kind of shrinks it, then just throw it away. Let's try that again. Drag it from the top, and it kind of gets smaller, throw it away. Throw it away. So this one as well, let's close it. And so now I have nothing else open because there's nothing else pulling. Um, Windows 8 is not meant to, you know, have applications drain your CPU if they're closed in the background, but if I have too many open, I start to notice things do get a little slow. Don't know why that is, because it's not supposed to happen, but I think it is kind of smart to close off some of your apps. So what else are we going to take a look at? Now, over here, if you swipe in from the right, you'll see that you have the settings. Now, depending on which screen you're on, it's going to pull up the settings for each of these. So search. This is very, very powerful. So you can search pretty much anything. So let's type in productivity. Now I'm going to change this keyboard to this layout because I'm not holding it. Let's search that. <coughs> That's not how you spell that. There we go. Much easier there. Nothing. Hmm. Not even in the store. Let's try that. So you can actually have all of your applications here, and you can search into them. Uh, this is a very, this is a very, very strong, um, very powerful tool, and it's something that I think that more people should remember is there. Now, let's say we open up my email, and oh look, there's a Tablet Crew email. That's excellent. Um, now let's say I'm looking for MWC because I'm going to Mobile World Congress. Let's search that, and then it'll, see it's searching in the mail. All right, so it pulls up all of my, my mail. I think it's quite dangerous to be searching my mail on camera, so I won't be doing that anymore. Um, so let's go to this this fun game. Uh, if you watched my top five games for, uh, that are free on uh, Windows 8, this was one of them that came up. But what, what I'm going to show you now is see if you swipe from the right and then you hit settings, it's actually the settings for this game. So we'll sound off, music off, YouTube tutorial. So that, that's definitely something that you should remember is in here. The search bar is specific to each app, unless you're in here and it's kind of specific to the entire, well, all the apps in here. Now another thing that I found kind of very useful is, let's say I have Skype open because I love chatting, 
and but I want to keep playing this game. Well, I can't. Darn it. Not even if I make it this big. Ah, perfect. So you can tr you can uh, drag to change the size so I can keep on playing and I can have my have my have my chats, which is great fun. So thanks so much for joining me. If you did like this video, please don't forget to like. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, why don't you do that? I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. Bye.